No pets. Huge improvement. <laughs> if you guys don't know what the inside joke is on that, definitely, definitely check out my last video for the first nursery that I went to on my birthday. But all that to say, welcome, welcome back to my channel, you guys. Welcome back to Growing With Donnie. So um, I'm at the second nursery of the day for my birthday. Um, this one is called Carpenitos Nursery or Carpenitos Brothers in Kent, Washington. And um, they actually had a huge plant sale going on this time around. As you can see, there were very mature plants all on sale for $1.50. So I think it's just a late season uh, sale that they've got going on to get rid of all the little plant starts that they've got left. Um, if you're in the area next time around next year, I definitely recommend it. Um, they had some awesome varieties and the plants all look super duper healthy. So um, my boyfriend and I are just kind of taking a look around at all the tomatoes and the peppers. It seemed to be that the majority of what they had um, marked down really low were tomato and pepper varieties. So we're just kind of looking at all the options and making the best choice but while we do that let me just tell you guys a little bit more about Carpenito Brothers so like I said it's in Kent Washington it's not too far from me um, so we took a little trip down because I had actually had a lot of um, recommendations to go here so I wanted to go down and take a look, but not only do they have this really cute little nursery here, um, it's actually not that small, um, it's pretty pretty large, and they have a um, little farm stand, a produce stand attached to it that you can actually buy their produce as well. But they also have their farm where in the fall they run their pumpkin patch and corn maze and then in uh, the winter they have their Christmas tree farm which I think is awesome as well so yeah I'm just looking at um, more of these tomatoes and pepper varieties I actually made a little friend while we were here um, a sweet little older gentleman who was telling us that every year he comes to Carpenito Brothers to pick out plants for his garden um, he's a container gardener just like us and um, he tends to buy um, the early girl tomatoes every year and the chocolate cherry tomatoes every year and he buys peppers as well so I had to grab that chocolate cherry because I thought it was a great suggestion so yeah, we're making our way into the larger part of the nursery um, where they have a lot more of their flowers and perennials and they have more of those on sale um, tomatoes and peppers. So we'll definitely take a look through those as well. Um, <laughs> they really had a lot of different varieties. It was really kind of surprising the, the selection that they had that were all on sale. I'm not surprised that they had a large selection, but just that they were all marked down and marked down so low. So yeah, this one was called a Marconi pepper. I didn't get it because I don't tend to love sweet peppers and I had already picked up an Anaheim. Um, so I didn't get the sweet Marconi pepper, but I might try that one next year. I couldn't believe how how large they get and the plant was really not that big but I tend to like spicier peppers because that's where all the flavor is at right <laughs> so yeah now I'm making my way over to look at some of the echinacea as you guys know if you watch my previous video I did pick up um, a purple variety that's similar in color to this one so I'm just picking up another one um, because they're a little bit lower in price. And again, these are perennials, so it's something that will last in your garden for a very long time if you take care of it. 
and yeah so we're just kind of making our way through looking at all the different um, varieties of flowers that they have out here and you know just a little just a little side note for you guys right take note when you're at your big box stores right do you ever see bees or wasps or butterflies around their flowers or their vegetables? No, right? I definitely, in all the nurseries that I have visited, well, I should say most of the, of the nurseries that I've visited um, out here, they have always had pollinators present. So I definitely think that that is a win for shopping local and shopping at your smaller nurseries. They tend to grow a little bit more organically and, you know, welcome my pollinator friends. And that's a plant that I want in my house, I'll tell you that. So yeah, they had a few other little veggie starts. Um, they seem to be uh, fall starts, but a little early. So now we're... We're inside in the um, other part of their nursery that's kind of covered up. They have lots and lots of flowers and house plants, and then they had seeds as well. So we're just kind of looking through. These are some, there's like herbs and house plants mixed into this area. Um, so we're just kind of taking a look at that and then making our way through, through the flowers. But you guys see how pretty this place is? It's gorgeous. I love all the colors, um, all the different flowers and how they have them hanging as well as on the tables. It just makes for a happy place, that's for sure. So yeah, I am just looking over all the different options of flowers and I actually didn't pick this one up. I ended up picking up a balloon flower um, which I'll show you guys in my next video um, if you guys come through, which you should, um, to check out my haul from both nurseries um, and where I put them in my garden as well. I will show you. Um, so yeah, I didn't pick this one up. I kind of regret it because that one's really, really cute. Um, but hey, it's always next year. So yeah, just working our way through again. And they actually had um, lots of pottery and different pots and things like that as well. I should have taken a little more time to look at those because they're really pretty. I love how colorful they are. And so yeah, they got tons and tons of seeds. I wasn't really on a seed type of mission today. <laughs> Um, but more looking for perennials and um, vegetable starts. So that's more what I picked up. But ugh, those flowers are so pretty. And there's more of the hanging plants. Okay, so now, you know, I'm just going to take a look at some of these herbs. For the most part, right here, it's just basil. Like a big old shelf full of basil. And a lot of it was actually going to seed. Um, or very overgrown, like this one. So, I definitely had to take my time and kind of suss through the options. Um, and so I could pick the best one. You know, I don't really want one that... It's already gone to seed. For all that, I'll just buy some seeds. <laughs> I'll just buy some seeds and some basil from the produce section. So um, I just kind of took my time and looked through to see if I could find one that was um, still going to grow um, in my garden without going straight to seed. Yeah, so now we're just kind of making our way through. Um, they actually have some produce over here that you can buy. Those are pickling cucumbers. And then they have lots of soil amendments and tools and all those type of things um, along the wall on this side. And then they have their outdoor nursery. Now, compared to West Seattle Nursery, right? The one that um, 
I reviewed or I showed you guys in my previous video. They had tons and tons of fruit trees and bushes and um, all kinds of other like trees and bushes that weren't necessarily fruit fruiting um, trees, right? Um, but this one, they had a few different options for you know trees and shrubbery, but nothing fruiting and honestly even that selection was pretty small I would definitely come here for your fruit and vegetable plants so your annuals and your flowers um, and perennials in that respect but not for fruit trees so yeah again like I said they had lots of amendments and tools they got your gloves your shovels or your trowels I should say things like that um, and then now we're in their little produce market so they had a lot they had watermelons they had <clears throat> they had cherries they had um, peaches and plums corn they had all kinds of good stuff And as you see here, they also had fresh local eggs um, for their from their hens as well. And I was cracking up because there was a little boy, like no older than six or something, over there with his mom. And they were all like smacking the watermelons <laughs> really hard. And I just thought it was funny seeing the little kid smack the watermelon. Like he knew exactly which one was the best one. <laughs> So yeah, we're just kind of making our way through the rest of the market. Um, I don't think we ended up really picking up anything as far as uh, snacks or produce or anything like that. But I just wanted to go back out to the nursery part to see if there's anything I missed that I may want to grab before we leave. Um, and I definitely wanted to check out the house plants. I didn't really look over there. The first time around, I just looked at the flowers. So I wanted to give it another shot. Go take a peek and see what they had to offer. And they had quite a bit, but nothing that I was just chomping at the bit to get. I kind of have a set wish list for houseplants and those were it. So yeah, if you guys actually want to see my houseplant collection, uh, give this video a thumbs up and let me know down in the comments. Otherwise, I thank you guys so much for coming through and going on another nursery trip with me. Don't forget to stay tuned and hit the notification bell if you want to see how I put these plants to work in my little balcony garden. Thanks again for coming by Growing With Donnie, and I'll see y'all on the next video. Bye!